keep this uh, this is your home tax you'll solve it okay so I'll move on the uh, next chapter 12 HTML listed under another list order list and definition of the listed nested list uh, so first of all I'll work with this unordered list Another list that means is spelling uh, short of UL. This is li. Then using this li listed copy, closing this tag. close this your list okay and refresh this browser so this is called the unordered list okay then order list copy this and paste it here and change this oil okay refresh this uh, then you will order list you have to change this only you on your first table of order list then it will be automatically changes this number converted this one two three okay so i hope you will better understand in this example then i will move on to the next lecture definition of the listed so one of them uh, inside of this order list uh, different type of uh, ordering you can display different kinds of the order list by using type of attributes then you will solve the different type uh, first of all you have to get the listed then uh, copy this and paste it here and change this oil type it will be uh, number of a okay that is the capital letter okay then uh, I'll just define this h4 tag letter list letter list okay then closing this h4 tag copy this and paste it here lawyer list lawyer list type of a okay and come back browser and refresh it then solve it okay so letter list i will see this is the capital letter i will c and lawyer list capital letter a b and c that is the gold okay i hope you will better understand this another example then i will move on in the next lecture uh, next at uh, next at least oh I, I didn't finish this definition of the list so first of all a definition list is not a list of single items it is a list of the items together we just uh, uh, 
description of the order at least so now i will move on on the next lecture definition listed note is list of the single items uh, it is a list of items together with the description of each term a definition list started with the dl tag dl then each term start with the td tag dt tag so that is the definition of list tag so on the next or uh, into the next example i will explain this and uh, now i'm going to copy this listed order unordered listed then i'll minimize this nested list this means uh, a nested list is a list within another listed as usual uh, one list into the another list and then this the two define it to the next as usual next for loop that is the same for that inside of this loop uh, like in the here I'm going to creating this another list loop okay then on the another next step loop inside of this okay then come to the browser and refresh it and check this okay that is the unordered listed so I don't need this example is actually misconception in the here change this type li listed so inside of this list finish this your list closing this tag ul then finish this tag refresh this browser then you will show that this is very easy ok this is the list and on the under uh, copy and another listed loop inside of this here ok <coughs> inside of this lowercase listed so this is this is the <coughs> this is the next step loop so i think you you will better understand in this another example so i'll move on in the next step loop uh, next step software of 14 software of 13 html forms and input forms okay so in this uh, after you will learn about form how to design form and input tag and attributes action and attributes and form examples so what is the forms so form actually HTML forms are used to the collect different kinds of the of user in uh, input a form is an area that can be contained from the from 
other elements so from elements are the elements that are allow user information and uh, check this text field and check this text area fields and drop down menu a radio button check boxes and etc so on so now i will give you another example so in fact uh, after that info tag attribution info tag and attributes so the most used uh, from tag is a uh, the info tag the type of the info is uh, specified with the type attribute following types are the most commonly user info types so now text field uh, what is the text field inside of this here <coughs> text field are used when you want to the user type of letter numbers and so on or form the form or appears as uh, shown in the figure so now now uh, i'm going to create this another form so that is the uh, that will be really very easy so now let's go to the intro.html code so inside of this here i'm going to creating this h2 tag and this is form okay form validation and closing this tag to <coughs> first of all uh, you have to declaration of the form then from action button action which this type of action uh, may be mailed to someone at the rate w3school.com method will be that is the type of who, what type of method you will use that will be post type and and type text plain <coughs> that will be a text plane after that s3 tag this is form validation or form send an email to w3 close this tag heading tag a3 okay now inside of this here a name to break I'm going to using this VR tag so uh, if you understand then, uh, which type of tag you will use then you can e easily use this anything as you like text then name name will be uh, inside of this here field of name value value type will be your name size will be 20 so inside of this here I'm going to using this another VR tag <coughs> mail to using this VR tag text input input 
टाइप कॉल टेक्स्ट नेम मे बी नेम विल बी मेल दैट्स बेलू योर मेल साइज विल बी दैट इज द बेसिक ऑफ द बेसिक लेक्चर फॉर बेसिक लेवल स्टूडेंट सो डोंट टू वी आर टेक एंड I'm going to use this comment uh, in the here using this VR tag. There is the info type. Text name will be comment. Hello. Your comment. Your comment. After that, inside of inside of this here, size will be similar to forty. Again, just copy this and paste it here, and change this name into type will be submit. Submit then. Bell will be sent. And inside of this here, bell. Okay, in this here, no need to the bell type. Okay, and I don't need to this size. Copy this and paste it here again for reset button. Type reset. R E S E T reset. Then send button. It will be reset. Okay. Mm, come back to the new browser and to refresh it. Uh, check this value. Okay. This is the input type name, your mail, and your comment. Then submit query. <coughs> okay. Then reset this. Hello. So I hope you will understand in this example. So this is the actually basic uh, send email from a uh, design. So now I will move on in the table of content text. It's table color code. So first of all, color values. Okay. So in this chapter, you will learn how to color values and uh, 160 million different colors. Um, we have standard color names and color names of the supported all browser. We have safe color and uh, shades of the gray. So now, first of all, black. Uh, I don't need to this define the lot of uh, color validation and a color code. So you have to first of all, this is the color name: black, red, and green, the blue, yellow, and china. Cyan, uh, then magenta and grey, white. So this is the hexadecimal coded, hexadecimal code. After that, this is the RGB color coded, and this is the color of RGB and RGB. This is zero zero zero. Okay. So guys, this is the three type of the color coded. Black and red, green and blue, yellow, uh, th then magenta. After that, color coded. So now I'll move to the the next 16 million of the different color. 
so that is the actually not a uh, define it this is the combination of the color code the green blue, blue and values from the 0 to 20 0 to 0 to 22 uh, gives you a total more than 60 million um, 16 million color to the play with 200 example of 255 then 255 then 255 okay so lot of color coded and that will be not uh, only using this comma that will be multiplication okay so this is the color coded for the 16 million of the color coded most of the uh, modern monitors are capable of displaying at least uh, maybe one six hundred six thousand three hundred eighty four so there is a uh, if you look at the color table of the w3 school or anything you can see uh, you will see the result of the varying uh, read light from the 0 to 20 to 255 while keeping the green and blue light at zero okay so now by standard color names the world wo worldwide web uh, consorium consorium has a listed of the 60 valid 16 valid color names of the HTML and CSS coded uh, that will be equal a q a equal so you will learn about uh, this name so that is the most important you have to blow or blur then for she for she uh, okay <coughs> gray then after that green then Line, then maroon, maroon color, then navy, then olive, then purple, uh, then purple, then red, silver. then this is the white white and yellow okay this is the color of code name so after that color name since supported by all the browser so that is the totally different on you how what is the color name so this the, the, this color will be supported to all of browser so shades of the gray and uh, lot of coded in the here you have to learn so you have to go to google and simply type here color code generator color code generator okay that's the really helpful for you this is the one kind of uh, oh this is the one not only one kind of a website this is that uh, very good website for the for you for designer so i really suggest you you, you will follow this code you will follow this website so guys in the uh, i'll move on in the next lecture maybe it will be chapter of 15 this is the uh, stable basic document and uh, heading elements then text element so heading element and text element already i i discussed about these topics so heading element that means the h1 h2 and h3 tag okay heading element text element so heading element syntax of the h1 from a6 that, that is called the a6 that's called the uh, heading elements then after the text element that text element that means a uh, paragraph tag p tag then vr tag then uh, hr tag then that is another tag of free tag so already i discussed about this tags so logical uh, styles logical styles that means the impassiest strong code and strong strong code impassiest and code that is the logical style after that physical style is so what is the physical style is physical style style that means the bold bold and okay i just wrote this about bold and italic italic okay so that is the physical stylus so link links and anchors and image elements so already i discussed about the links anchor and uh, image style it so that is really helpful 
for me now and the unordered list already I discussed about this listed list already I discussed uh, definition list already I discussed about these topics okay tables I already finished this already fi uh, not only uh, frames okay so now frames frame set that is the totally different from the another tag form action that means the action of WW uh, okay frames that means the another of input text and uh, password input type and radio checkout and uh, submit reset hidden button option and lot of options selected and selected text area that's called the frame set okay so after that entity set forms already discussed and the entity set entity set that means the block it vlo ck qot block quad and address tag address okay that is the then so this is our other element that means you will find out for what is the other element okay now i'll move on the 16 chapter 16 so this is the html layout first of all html layout using the tables so already i discussed about uh, html tables so what is the html layout using tables a part of the pages and formatted with the two columns or like a newspaper pages as you can see on these pages and there is a left column and right column there is a display the left to right so an HTML table is used to the divided part of the web pages into the two columns. Two tricks use the table without border and maybe list uh, little extra cell padding. So the matter how much text you added on to, to this table, so it will stay inside of each columns border. Okay. So guys, this is the most important for you. Uh, fragmenting fragment set. Uh, frame set sorry frame set frame tag and uh, designing the with frames okay so now i'm going to discuss about the frame set so the disadvantage of the using phrasings are first of all why i why i will discuss about the disadvantage of the using frames are okay this advantage advantage of using using frames frames are okay so this is the basically the web developer must keep track of the more html documents so it is a difficult to print interface and use often dislike them so its presence linking challenges people often use frames to wrap their own ads and heading branding around people contents so this is the uh, disadvantage of the fusing frames now i'll discuss about frame set takes so frame set take that means frame uh, frame set okay this is the frame set tag so this frame set tag uh, defines how to define the window into frames each frame set are the defined as a set rows or column so the value of the two defined rows and column indicates the amount of the screen uh, are each row and column or copy so vertical frame set what is the vertical frame set so vertical frame set is the um, how to do how to make a vertical frame set with the three different two documents so now i will give you another example from the live example so let's go to the code so inside of this here i'm going to define this frame set okay frame set columns equal 25 percent and 50 percent then 25 percent again <coughs> now I'm going to creating this frame frame SRC
frame ye uh, dot stm now i'll just copy this and paste it here change this value v change this value c okay and in the end of the line uh, i'll finish this frame set this is the closing tag frame set okay now i'll refresh this browser nothing to change in the here frame a yeah, 25 percent columns frame 2 I'll cut it and paste it body tag and refresh it or oh, nothing to change in this here uh, uh, what is the wrong this coded frame set frame set So guys, I'll move on to the table of content part, chapter 18, it, um, HTML fonts about, so font tag and font attributes, controlling fonts with styles. So first of all, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, font tag. So with HTML code like following example, uh, this will be, I'll give an example. First of all, I'm going to type paragraph tag. So then font size, font size equal to, okay. Then page, if it's page. By Dana this is paragraph then close this tag after that here I'm going to define this size 3 page will be times this is another paragraph then close closing tag Okay, into the font tag, closing this paragraph tag. Then again, closing this paragraph tag. In inside of this here, are uh, starting this paragraph tag. Okay. So in the here you show that this is the paragraph tag and this is the another paragraph tag okay so you'll show that th this is the type of font burden and uh, then this is the time paragraphs this is the nothing to uh, 
a lot of different changing the between two these sentences and this is of Vardana and this is the font of time times okay so guys you have to go to Google and simply type here fonts awesome there is the uh, that in this website you will get a fine a uh, lot of icons in the here and we'll type another font attribute attribute in this HTML so then we'll show that a specific attribute um, called and then face font family size number and font HTML font tag okay then we'll so that this is the lot of color coded in the here and a lot of uh, type of address audio button and font for font or some and a lot of fem font family and you have to go to google simply type here google fonts google fonts okay then simply go to the google fonts So there is the Google fonts. So you have to select this Roboto and lot of fonts type in the here. But you have to select first of all fonts. Then you will show that this is the lot of font. Uh, you will find it in the here. Okay. So now I'm going to talk about uh, move on the controlling font with style so that is the very very important so you have to write down here each one tag then give this style font family Bardana Bardana okay then simply close this tag a heading tag then close this H H1 tag okay now give this style tag font family Korea tag close this paragraph tag ok then simply come to in your browser and refresh it then you'll show that this is the a heading tag and a paragraph tag so this that's called the controlling of the font family vardana and courier okay so i hope you'll better understand this example then i will move on then chapter 19 so why you use in the html 4.0 and uh, html 3.0 was very uh, wrong in the html So in this chapter you will learn about HTML um, inter of HTML 4.0 why is so in, in HTML 4.0 all formatting can be removed from HTML document and store stored in the separated style sheet because style 4.0 is separated from the presentation from the documents the structure you finally get what you always need needed and total control of the presentation Pre uh, presentation layout without missing after the document content so that's why you use this uh, HTML 4.0 and HTML 3.2 was very wrong because the originally HTML was uh, never intended to the containing text for formatting a document HTML text were intent I uh, intend to the define it to the content of the document like uh, paragraph tag and heading tag I'll give this another example okay simply type your paragraph tag so this is a paragraph 
paragraph tag after that I'll define this h1 tag so this is heading tag this is heading tag okay so when text like a font and uh, color attributes were added to the HTML 3.0 specification, it started a nightmare of web developers. So, development of large web sites and where fonts and color information had to be added to the every single web pages became a long, expensive, and uh, unduly painful process. So, that's why um, the HTML 3.2 was very wrong. The now enter HTML 4.0, so that is the very emerging. So, what should we do about this entering HTML 4.0? So, do not use the presentation attributes inside your HTML text. If you can avoid it, starting with the styles, then please read the learn CSS with the WT school to learn about more working with the style sheet. And you have to go to Google and simply type here. Uh, powerfans uh, tutorials powerfans.com dot net maybe okay so then you will learn about lot of tips in the CS, uh, HTML and CSS so that's why you should about do it uh, don't use the uh, duplicated text visit the W3 school HTML 4.0.1 4.0.1 reference to use which is the text attributes and duplicate it okay so i hope you will understand in this example so now i am going to starting chapter 22 html css and stylus so that is very very important that is the css stylus that means uh, in this chapter you will learn about html and css so now i'm going to start the style in html code so first of all you have to go to google and simply type here css docs css documentation then you have to read css cascading style sheet documentation there's the very really amazing and you have to learn a lot of uh, tips from this website okay the developer.mozilla.org okay then css basics so first of all what is the css so like html css is not a programming language so it's not a markup either Ma markup language either css is the only style sheet language so css is what you what use used to do selectively style html document uh, elements for example the css selects paragraph text and just getting the color to red so like uh, a paragraph select this paragraph tag and you will give this color tag color um, inside of this second process okay so i hope you better understand in this example so then you will move on the another next css first steps then you will learn a lot of request uh, quiz decides and basic of families using the computer using web feasibly so then guiders and how css is structured so that is the really important so you have to how css work i uh, have to learn about this then you will better understand uh, in this example and in this from this tutorial you will learn something new okay so this is the actually a uh, doc type some head inside of this head this is the uh, heading tag and this is the paragraph tag so then you'll just select this class of h1 tag and this is the h1 then the color background and border so this is the really easy okay so f first of all you have to understand and you have to read this uh, your documentation and obviously you will follow this introduction HTML overview and HTML tables uh, CSS first tips and what is the CSS requirement there's a lot of CSS styling and uh, CSS building blocks style sheet and uh, layout you have to learn from this here okay guys so first of all you have to select this on your class and then you'll just uh, read very easily from this website okay so in inside of this inner tag and till inside of this this is the inner e inner html inner css styling uh, inside of this heading tag okay so just uh, just select this style then 
select uh, select first of all your class name and this is the class name and then give this color code background color and border and uh, color related okay so i hope you'll better understand in the live example so after that you will you will come to you know, your how css words learn uh, this is the your dom css called this css dom okay so you have to first of all is html dom and simply type here html dom okay okay i'll go to oh javascript dom why not html dom html dom this is the html dom tree of the objects so there is a lot of uh, very very important on your interview uh, any examiner you can ask to you ask to you about this html dom javascript dom view dom react dom css dom so you have to prepare yourself about this okay first of all this is the document and then root element html I'll sub suppose um, you have to write your first coding and without doc type this is the example this is the doc type and uh, you have to just uh, delete this doc type and save it run it nothing to happen okay so don't worry about this first uh, first of all this is the supporting tag of the doc type html coded so first of all yeah, you have to learn about uh, root document html so without html then you can run you can't never run on your uh, html doc uh, index.html file then after that this is the divided to element uh, heading to heading parts and uh, element of body body part uh, this is the heading part then this is the inner style css inside of the inner style css then you, you will show that this is the background color body tag where oh here is the body tag okay so this is the part of two so then element of body tag then element of title text my text then attribute href and element a tag and element h1 tag this is the attribute of element a tag hr tag that means the my link okay then elements hr to the my header tag so i hope you better understand this example so then css work how css work so this is called the css dom so first of all loaded the html and first is the html inside of this so you know folder then you can load it on your inner or outer out or beside inside of the folder then loaded in the css then created dom tree then loaded inside of this loaded css and parts css so at a style to document notes then it will be displayed on your browser okay so guys this is a really very very easy so don't worry about this so you have to learn and uh, you have to understand this dom okay now i'll come to come back in my document styling buildings blocks and lot of um, css selectors then you have to read step by step everything from this web from website okay so this is the selector what is the for is for a selector so you have to selector already uh, ss css selector is the first part a css rule it is the pattern of element other term then I tell you the browser which is the html elements should be selected to the have css property uh, below inside the rule apply two of them the element of this element which is the selected by this okay this is the very simply i i'll just uh, simplify this this is the called paragraph tag and this is the called um, oh you have to understand what is the which is class and which is the um, id then you have to select select this on your selector then give this your color co color 
text color coding okay so select all list so this is the select all list and you have to modify also call this uh, combine this into the select all list and by editing a comma between them uh, suppose this is h1 and the special then you will give this two tag inside of this color blue then it will be get uh, it will get automatically color blue so you will better understand in this example so then what is the space valid for before the command you may also find selector more uh, readable if h is on new line h1 tag is special blue and in the live example we will try to the con continue combining two selectors so you have to which is the um, identical declaration this is the visual display should be same other after combining them so type selector so this is the type called type selector span or strong or game uh, this is the span strong uh, emphasis so that's the really very easy you have to select your class theme then you will give this automatically on your attractive website okay so I hope you will better understand this example so type of selector type class and ID so I already discuss about uh, class and ID so first of all you have to select this uh, group of the selector target of HTML elements in such as an H1 tag then it's it also include a selector which is target also um, the class dot box then or an ID ID that means you can use this hashtag okay hash sign that's called the id or dot box that called the also class then attribute selector you have to select this on your based on the presence of attribute the particular name um, so facetu class and facetu elements that's called the facetu elements a uh, then call this facetu class of for example select element when it is being covered by the mouse pointer so I hope you will better understand this example so I will come back in my introduct HTML coded so now I will give this example so first of all I will give this another example uh, like elements is of element CSS maybe uh, you learn lot of uh, think about this a uh, grid column and the grid column 2 then this is the automatically column of this code and paste it here then you will show that this is the on your output and this is the form email for do you think and this is the code so you have to learn very easily find out what if what's the new what's need for you and you have to just simply copy this and paste it on your index dot html coded from here okay and simply refresh this browser then what happen inside this okay so this is the uh, on your inner html code uh, inner css html coded in the here okay So I don't need to this. I don't need element of CSS. Then how to use use this template to get start special sting oh, element of Element CSS framework. Okay, 
okay i'll give this another example in the next lecture uh, when i'll create a, i'll make a about css lecture then it it's really helpful for you okay now i'll move on in the next uh, chapter um, head and meta elements oh in the previous chapter maybe I didn't finish this I uh, still character entities so that is the very important so character of entities uh, some characters are reserved HTML and for example you can't use this getter than or less than signs than within your your text because the browser could mistake them for markup if we, if you want to browser to actually display this character you must insert the character in uh, entities in the HTML chords so then uh, a character in TTS logged um, this suppose I'll give this example and percent sign of entity name so that's called the character of entity logs okay so I just delete this and type here h1 tag so inside of this character character of entities h1 tag so inside of this paragraph tag code and person sign of x close this paragraph tag So close this another. Uh, I'm going to define this another code of type of one seven four. Refresh this browser. So could uh, sign of X. This is the X is with the entity number and entity name okay so you have to understand this is called the character of entities so after that I'll move on in the next part character of entities uh, character of entities so you have to go to simply Google um, type here commonly commonly used character so that's called the ampersand ampersand entity name and that's called the double quotation mark that's this uh, short name okay so this called the single quotes quotation mark Astrophy, okay. Then sand, okay. This call this entity's name. 
so i hope you will better understand this example now i will move on in the next chapter uh, commonly used to the i i already discussed about this so then chapter 22 html head and meta elements now i'm going to discuss about this uh, display the text because it is inside of paragraph element then title tag heading tag already discuss about this then HTML unit from resource locator so that is the very very important so something called the uniform resource locator URL so any website you will find anything like shipper shipper.com so that's called the URL so this website I made for agency so that's really awesome and I build this website by WordPress so guys I hope uh, you will better understand this example like suppose this is the URL uniform resource locator so now I will move on on the next URL schemes suppose to w3 school so www.w3school.com that is the your call of URL okay then html script it using links and schemes so what's the difference of the using links so already i discussed about this link that's called the href La, suppose inside of the paragraph or body tag or you can anything you can define this and w i'll give this example a href okay that's called the link www dot So that's called the um, using links. Okay. Then chapter HTML scripted. So inside of this chapter, you will learn about added script to the HTML pages to the make more dynamic and interactive. A script in the HTML is defined with the script tag. Suppose script tag. So th that's called the totally of the script. So inside of the into pages, uh, that's called the JavaScript. Uh, I will give this an example inside of this body tag you have to write script tag that will be type ok equal let's call this text of javascript then document dot write hello world I don't need to this then simply script ok refresh this browser hello world so that's called the inside, uh, script tag and inside of this on your um, friend this document dot write and uh, inside um, output shown your html coded then non scripted i'll move on on the next part insert the script in the into the pages already discussed how to the handle older browser how to the handle older browsers so it may be a browser chart that uh, doesn't recognize the script tag inside of this tag all di will display script tags comma content as a text on the pages so to prevent a browser uh, from doing this you should hide the script tag in comment tags and to all the browser that doesn't recognize their script so they will re ignore that uh, comments and it will be not not write the text content of the pages so 
simply I will give this example this is the script tag <coughs> so document dot write uh, may it may be content contained or scripting this <coughs> scripting the, the uh, text dot drive suppose I will give this another example inside of this here bv script script type text bv script then simply copy this and paste it here and comment this oh, I don't need this comment part Inside of this script, it is not recognized this uh, tag system. So let's call this uh, non-scripting tag. So how to skip this tag? So it may be content of the script inside of this VV script tag. It will be really helpful for you. So now I'll move in the next chapter, HTML standard attributes. So that's the really important about. Uh, on your under for your understanding better understanding on your design uh, code attributes that's the class ID and the style and title so class rules and style rules uh, this is the value ID that is the ID name perfectly describe this a uh, unique ID for this on element then style it style it definition style definition class class ID then attribute of style then attribute of title so guys this is the called of core attributes and uh, first of all class class will be rule id or style this is the class of element then secondly id that is the unique id for the element then style a third number of style definition and inline style definition so that's the title of number four title there is the tooltip text a text to do to the display into the tooltip so language attribute after that oh, this is the called core attributes okay simply cut it and paste it here uh, then language attributes language attributes that means no valid to the base vr frame and frame set frame then frame set frame set ok then hr then hr then iframe then pr frm ok then script it so there's inside of this here and language attribute equal dir that means tr and tt that's the set of the text decoration after that length length so that's called the language code sets of the language code and after that keyword attributes so keyword attributes that means the access key access key and tab index or oh, access key that means the character set a character of a uh, stored cut to the access an element after that tab, uh, tab index that means the number set of the tab order of an element now I will move on on the chapter 24 HTML event attributes even attribute that means on load then call this another attribute of on bound on on unload okay 
that's called the HTML event attributes. So, first of all, on load, on load, that's the value of script. So, script to the to be run when a document loads on unload that means scripted inside of this run when a document unloaded so after that that's called this window events okay I'll just cut it and paste it here Okay, that's called the <coughs> window events. Then I'll just simply delete this and paste it for element events. So there's the one change event, one change event, and on submit. Submit. Okay, then once on reset then on blur then on focus so that's called the on change on change is that means the value of script so script to the v v run when the element changes so on submit that means uh, skip to the run when the form is submitted then one reset that means the skip to to be run when the form of from is reset on select that means the skip to be run when the element is selected so on blur that means the skip to the skip to be when uh, to be run when the elements lose focus so on focus that means the um, skip to to be run when the element of gets focuses okay so i hope you better understand this example so after that keyword events so keyword event that means the mouse oh uh, just simply delete this A keyword event that means on key down and one key press and to one key up what to do when a key is uh, released uh, that's called the on key up so one key press that means the what to do when key is pressed and released okay so one key down that means the script and what do you do, what to do when key is fresh so that's the very very important so now i'm going to discuss about this mouse event mouse event that means one click so it is very helpful for your better understanding the javascript then on dv click dv click then on mouse down on mouse down then on mouse hover mouse over so on mouse over that means the what to do when mouse pointer moves over an element then after that one mouse down so that's called the what to mm, do when mouse button is pressed that's called the on mouse down then after that mm, on reset so on reset or oh no on mouse down one on dv clicks so that means the what to do a mouse a double click and one click that means the what to do and mouse click so i hope you'll better understand every single of mouse event now i'll move on on the next chapter of the 27 chapter 27 that means the first of all uh, HTML URL encoding so that's the really really important URL that means encoding the convert character into the format that can be the be safely transmitted over the internet so as you learn in the chapter 23 HTML uniform resource locator uh, so you will show that this is the 23 uh, chapter 23 HTML uniform resource locator so that's the really important
and creative uh, i hope you'll better understand to web server why they're using url so they do so web is like uh, http slash www.w3school.com so that is the encoding of the url so see appendix of the html is iso 8859 that's the reference of completely ascii character of the set so common url including encoding character so first of all you will copy this and paste it here on your browser so guys uh, i want to say to you say something about my youtube channel so i'm really hard work person so you have to go simply youtube youtube then search the if code camp and subscribe my youtube channel so this is my youtube channel so first of all you have to go to google and simply type here common url encoding character text so that's the really helpful for you uh, suppose this is the character for digit 0 from 9 and letter a to z and uh, a, a to z so and a few special of character this is the special character and after that url encoding that is the another example let's mm, call this encoding of sign uh, suppose at the rate of so that's the add at the rate of that means percent is percent is a three percent of a three so that's called the uni, uh, url encoding uh, encoding tag encoding character maybe co url common url encoding character common url encoding character or oh, this call this ascii value of this uh, so it's maybe defined to the different type of uh, suppose url encoding convert character into the formal that can be the transmitted over the internet w3 school so there's the slash is actually separated but uh, that is the percentage of uh, sorry in the here maybe it will be modulus of 2f that is becomes an ordinary character of that simply represented slash character in the element of of your url so let's call this a uh, um, encoding character <coughs> so now i'll move on on the next chapter uh, chapter 28 you turn your pc into a web server so there's the totally different uh, issue in the here internet of the information server and uh, what is the server so server is the actually one kind of hosting web places you will get uh, anything put on your uh, server suppose this is the intro dot html coded so i'll just uh, i i was saved about inside of my um new folder uh, inside of this introduction then inside of this introductory html this is the folder say i'll i was saved inside of this new volume so this is my local host server so that's called the uh, when i'll publish this so as uh, live server that calls the live server so there is the local host server and there is the live server between the different issue so first of all you have to understand what is the web server so maybe i will give you another example shifar so this is my website for the for my client so this is the information all of server this is the live server and live hosting server and it may be containing of the website in this uh, storage that's the maybe needed for storage so let's call this uh, uh, um, server hosting so i hope you'll better understand this example so now installing is and windows vista 7 and uh, that's the called on your operating system will install this on you this is the windows okay so i don't need to this explain it this website but uh, this is the related of this web server so i'll move on and then your next states a professional web server and chapter of html and css summary appendix appendixes and appendixes eav reference standard attributes standard event attributes already i discussed about this uh, from in this lecture so guys this is the first uh, mostly and this is the first of uh, in my website i have been completed this lecture 
so in the previous lecture i was discuss about lot of in index dot uh, about uh, in the intro dot html suppose you will show that this is the lot of coding and i hope you will every single of line you are beginner then you will learn very simply and very easy way without wasting of money so guys if you want uh, and uh, uh, more videos then tell me about in my description below and if you like my videos then obviously subscribe my youtube channel and in the next lecture i will make on the totally uh, style of css uh, so not only size style of css only i will make an, uh, another video about css okay so then you will better understand about uh, style.css and it uh, html connection between two parts then it's really helpful for you okay guys thank you guys thanks for watching